Welcome everybody to TMAC. Um, we'll go ahead and start with the, uh, the opening statement message. So I'm going to read that. Uh, it is Thursday, January 21st and it is 12 p.m. This meeting will be conducted entirely via electronic means on January 14th, 2021 in accordance with Utah code 52-4-2074. I determined that conducting meetings of the Provo City Transportation and Mobility Advisory Committee with an anchor location, such as the Community and Neighborhood Services Conference Room, presents a substantial risk to the health and safety of those who may be present there. These are the facts upon which I've made this determination. The World Health Organization has classified novel coronavirus disease, AKA COVID-19, as a pandemic. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention state that COVID-19 is easily spread from person to person between people who are in close contact with one another. Utah is currently subject to Utah Public Health Order 2020-26, which limits the size of public gatherings and which requires people to wear face coverings and follow social distancing guidelines. Utah County is currently listed as having a high level of coronavirus transmission. Physical distancing measures will be difficult to set up and maintain in the community and neighborhood services conference room and other meeting rooms. The meeting will be available to the public for live broadcast and on-demand viewing on YouTube at youtube.com slash user slash Provo channel 17 and Facebook at https colon slash slash www.facebook.com slash Provo channel 17. All right, um, Lou, quick introductions. I'll just um, introduce everyone since we're on Zoom here. So I'm Clancy Black, TMAC chair. Um, we've also got from the TMAC committee, Mitsu Saito. Yep. Um, Lari Urquiaga, who's our planning commission representative. Here. Um, and Joy McMurray, who is our vice chair. Um, we'll also welcome Dave Harding, our city council liaison. Thanks for being here, Dave. Um, and, and staff and other guests, thanks for joining us. Okay, so I think we just have the one agenda item. Um, so Robert, do you wanna start us off talking about how we wanna approach this? Or who's going to that? That'd be uh, our agenda, I think, is a little deceiving in that there's only one item, but it's really, really big. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just going to start off by uh, sharing a couple things. Uh, here we go. So, hopefully, all of you remember this document mm -hmm. and received this document. Uh, you should have received it with last month's um, meeting notes and things like that. Uh, so Robert, we're it, still we're still seeing the agenda and announcement PDF. Okay. Let's see if let's see if we can get Zoom to catch up. Yeah. Or at least I am. Maybe it's just me. No, I don't either. Uh, Crystal, can you stop your share? Oh, Crystal's is frozen. Oh, this might be fun. <laughs> so... We'll, we'll see if we can get these technical difficulties taken care of. However, we'll improvise. You guys remember <laughs> this? <laughs> oh, I remember, yes. I've got it open on my screen. <laughs> okay. If you have the opportunity, I would encourage you to open it uh, because I wanted to talk about this for a little bit. Uh, oh, good. Looks like Crystal's screen is unfrozen. I have it open on my screen too. It was on an email with the subject line center street list. Is that the one we're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're getting it now. Okay. 
Can you all see my screen now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, just one second. So this list that you're looking at, uh, Dave Harding, this might be new to you. I'm not sure, uh, but we can catch you up as we go along. And if you have questions, if anyone has questions, feel free to jump in as we go through this. But uh, just as a little bit of background, this is, oh, can you guys still see, hear me and everything? Yeah. 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 Okay. Crystals went down, but I'm a co-host, so I think, I think we're still good. Okay. Yeah, I think uh -huh. we're in. It looks good. Okay, good. Don't you love the days when you're like attacked by technology? <laughs> So anyway, this list is uh, a list of all of the uh, possible projects that have been proposed for Center Street over many, many years. Um, Public Works, Rob Hunter, Shane Winters, uh, Jared, Jared Lillywhite, they, they did an awesome job of kind of putting it into this color-coded list uh, and listing out things uh, based on uh, whether it improves pedestrian safety, reduces speed, uh, all of the things that you see here. Public Works also identified four uh, projects that they felt uh, could be started uh, and accomplished within the current uh, budget constraints, everything like that. Um, sorry, I just have to let Crystal in. Oh, she's joined. Okay. Um, and then I uh, decided what they could do within this first year. So those are marked here. Uh, and if you have your own, you can see what those are. We've sent those on to the council. Uh, that seems to be in the works. Uh, Rob and Shane, nod your head if you agree with me. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Perfect. So kind of where we're at right now, though, is um, what to do with the next steps. So I just want to quickly go to a different screen. So this is the this is that project list that you're looking at. Um, and then uh, can you all see my PowerPoint? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do we want to do with this list next is kind of where we want to talk about today and, and what we can do. Um, if you look at mine, there are so many notes on this thing and lots of different things that I've written down. And uh, Gary and I have talked about this a lot internally because we, we recognize that this is a really, really important thing and, and TMAC and council have both expressed that how Center Street develops and improves is, is really, really important. So uh, there are just some things that are down, but I'm hoping for a lot of good feedback, a lot of good discussion today on what we're gonna be talking about. So things that I've, I've listed here that we think we should talk about. Creating a systematic approach to move forward um, and then kind of a guiding philosophy on how we, we look at these things. So one that I've kind of used um, as I've evaluated and looked through this list <clears throat> is what I have up here of use the least intrusive approach in incremental steps to achieve the desired outcomes. So there are so many different things that are listed on uh, these possible street improvement list. Some of them are what I would consider really low hanging fruit. Some of them would be a significant change, not only to the way Center Street functions, but the way it looks um, and, and would take a lot of time, a lot of resources and things like that. So as we look at that, it's fine to consider those things. That's what we're here to do. Uh, but we should have some sort of guiding philosophy that, that helps us in determining what our next steps should be. And this is one that I, I like to use for a lot of my planning work. Um, 
but then the next thing that we need to do is determine which of those projects can or should be considered for an October 2021 report to the council. Uh, we had determined a long time ago that what we would do with this list is come up with those first four and then in October, uh, the TMAC would send a kind of a report to the city council on what we should be working on next as far as Center Street. So over the course of the coming year and the coming months, that's what we're going to be working on. Um, and then it, it's important to note that anything can be added to this project list at any time. Um, if TMAC members, if council members, if administration, staff, whatever, if we feel like there are things that should go on this list, that, that's not a big deal. Uh, we can add those things. Um, the fourth thing that I wanted to talk about today was just some additional aesthetic impacts. If you look on the list, uh, you'll notice that in the dark blue column, uh, it, Public Works did a great job of pulling things out that they felt would affect the aesthetics of Center Street, uh, these different projects and, and things like that. Uh, as I went through my list, I added a couple more X's on different projects that I thought would have an impact. Um, and so I think that's something that we should look at and review, maybe not during this meeting, but maybe as a homework project um, to think about. Uh, and then the last thing that I wanted to talk about today was, or that I, that I think that we need to think about as we think about this improvement list is, when do we involve the planning commission? Um, I think it's important to make sure that they're involved in this. Uh, Lori, we're so happy to have you on this committee and everything that you provide and send back to the planning commission. And so we'll definitely be looking for your input and, and your opinion on, you know, when do we involve the whole planning commission on these different things? So great questions so far, comments so far. Um, so I'm trying, I'm trying to understand what we do next. So maybe, maybe I can help Robert here, kind of the, the background where this kind of started uh, now that we've haven't been, hadn't met for a little while. Right. One of the things from public works perspective is, um, we, we completely understand that, um, center street, um, has some different idea, a different desire for different things. And one of the things is the council has done, I think, a good job, a really good job of explaining the vision or the intent that um, that they see for Center Street. Um, and some of the things that are um, that we show in that list are to help begin that process of meeting that intent statement of of that being as the guiding document that gets us to a place that starts defining those kind of those intents or those objectives that they've defined in there. Um, one of the things with public works is, is we were hoping to get a good process that we could implement that would start with TMAC um, and, and how we set that up. I think that's what Robert's asking is how do we set up that process so that we can continually move towards that intent, those objectives um, that have been set out. Um, and that way it helps us, I think, when we get public um, input or ideas on things to, to move forward with or things to look at, that we already have a process involved that we could bring to TMAC on, on through that whatever process, yearly, biannual, whatever you guys kind of feel that would get us there as we look at those type of improvements along Center Street that get us to that intent, to those objectives. That helps us in public works then, um, and maybe the other departments start looking at opportunities that we can start budgeting and start, or start different various, I think, um, trials of different things that are on here to see if, if they work. Um, Whatever that may be, but it's a process not only to see if there's a trial 
things we can do, and then budgeting um, so that we can move forward on this. Because I think we're to the point now where we really need to start moving forward with some things. Um, and I think Public Works, we have ideas that we would like to, to start moving forward. But before we do that, I think we wanted to run that, have that process in place and make sure that that's defined and that you guys kind of let us know in the direction you'd like to see next where we go. Thanks for Shane, that. Shane. I'm wondering, um, in in looking at this list, um, and maybe maybe we need another column. I'm not sure, but I'm. Are any of these particular items things that are priorities for the municipal council? Because um, I think we ought to mark those somehow. Um, if the council members have said we really need this particular thing. Um, and then see what it takes to move that direction. And then also um, any priorities we might have. All right. Um, so there's things on here that absolutely, from our perspective, I think that have been explained. And, and Dave, you could maybe jump in and chime in and, and maybe add to this. And I had a discussion um, with Rob, and you can add to this, Rob, as well. Um, some of the first things I can say that we've had that from the public, from various um, different groups, is the first is speed. Um, how can we help reduce speed on Center Street? That was one. Um, number two was how can we make it feel more safe or get the pedestrians across, you know, the current condition, whether the street it is to help them get across or feel more safe to cross the street. Um, those are two I can say right now that have been the most um, expressed to us. Um, and I would say right now that would be from the public works perspective to say, that's where we would start leaning towards looking at how we can, um, get there. And I think it really fits in with some of the things with the intent statement that we got from the council that helped get us um, closer to those objectives. Now there's things on this list in the first year that I think we can do and that we can actually do trial experimental things to go out there and see if we can accomplish um, helping one to reduce speed and or get, you know, get people across through crosswalk, those things in a more safe condition. Um, so those would, I would say, those would be the kind of the first, maybe the things we look at. But along with that, though, I do want to say, I'd like to make sure that we establish a good systematic process that we can continually to move forward these objectives. I know internally we had talked that maybe every you know, October, September, October timeframe, we specifically talk about these, these things um, and go through the, a few of these items to say, hey, we would like to this or new items that may come up. We would like to look at these things. We would like to assess these things. Um, that way we can talk about it. We can do evaluations on that and with that we can budget it if, if there's a necessary that we need to do whatever improvements they are, that we can budget that in the following um, next, next budget cycle. Um, that was one idea that we had so that it's a continual process to move forward towards that. Um, that again, that's one idea. I'm not saying suggest that's what it needs to be, but that's kind of the, the way that we were thinking about it. And it would also allow maybe an opportunity during that September, October timeframe that um, the various um, stakeholders and groups would have an opportunity at that time maybe to come in and express some of their feelings and and, and their ideas of, of where they would like to go that we could communicate you know communicate and get all that in one process and then have that all kind of vetted out for the following year to move forward towards whatever additional items we're going to go with so that that was kind of our idea um, so I think that was one of the things that we're looking for TMAC to help us kind of define that process. That definitely helps. Dave, you want to share some things? Yeah. Yeah. Um, just, just, hi, I'm Dave Harding. <laughs> uh, used to be on, on TMAC. Um, and uh, this year uh, I've been assigned to be the liaison. So I'm 
I'm excited to be back. I kind of stepped aside to allow someone else um, to, to do it last year, but uh, happy to be back with, with my old friends. We're glad to have you back. Any Thank day. you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but I really see my, my uh, you know, I'm not on TMAC. I'm not, you know, so I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot more listening than, than talking. Um, but I, I do appreciate the, the question, like, what do we know what the council wants? And so I'm going to try to um, kind of relay the council perspective, just so so you're understanding and not necessarily try to, you know, try to influence the discussion more, just, just give you the information. Um, so uh, and, and let me say, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled at, at the discussion we've had so far. I'm, I'm thrilled to hear um, public works and, and community neighborhood services talking about the intent statement and talking about, um, you know, the clear message that this, this that pretty much all the stakeholders want to, to move this forward. And I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled with that. Um, I, I do think I'm, I'm glad we have this list up. I have seen it before, Robert. I, we, I've seen it a couple of times in council meetings already. So that's great. I'm glad that that's up. Um, it, it may not hurt to, to not just refer to the, the policy intent, intent statement, but actually, you know, if, if you have that up or if you have it handy, um, I think if, if you want to know what the council's approved, uh, adopted, desires are, you know, there, there is that document and it was intentional not to have specific treatments or specific implementations. Like we want to see raised crosswalks or we want to see this, that, or the other, what we, what the administration asked of us and what, what we committed to was to try to lay out a vision of what we want it to be. And, um, and then kind of let, let the, let the professionals, um, you know, decide, including including TMAC, decide that the best way to to move forward with that. Um, so I, I have it up in front of me. Um, just a couple of thoughts on this, and I, and I think this answers hopefully Laura, um, Laurie's question. Um, you know, we we we, we see it um, Center Street as a destination, and and I've, I've heard TMAC say this. We were saying it when I was on TMAC. It's, it's a destination, not a thoroughfare. Center Street, that's that this historic section of Center Street, um, probably more than in any other part of downtown, it's, it is the destination. The road isn't necessarily to get people to other places. It's, it's to service this section of, of, of Center Street. Um, and, and Robert, I, I apologize, I didn't write all of it down. Um, if, so if I misquote you a little bit, but um, when you talked about, you know, the, oh, I forget what you called it, but kind of the, the approach that, that we need to decide, you know, what our mantra is going to be. Um, I, as you were describing, I think you said, you know, but we, uh, what can we do? What changes can we make to move it toward the vision, but, you know, not necessarily change the function of Center Street? I think you may have said feel as well. But anyway, a couple of things. And, and my perspective, and now I'm kind of stepping away from the rest of the council, but my perspective is, is, the function and the, the feel of Center Street now is pretty far from our vision and our intent of, of where we would like it to be. Um, and so I, I think we, we, we sh as, as I, I love the idea of, of low negative impact and low cost um, projects. You know, if we can get some good, you know, uh, bang for the buck, so to speak, um, I think that's great. Uh, we, We've just gone through the Center Street reconstruction. We've gone through BRT coming in. These are really negatively impactful projects on the businesses while they're going. And so we want to avoid those kind of things. And so the big, big projects like that, we definitely want to avoid. But if there, there are things that we can implement simply, but I mean, don't shy away from something because it's radical. Um, you know, shy away from it if it's if it's really impactful, like tearing the street up for for a year kind of thing. Um, and and one other thing I, I heard Robert say is, you know, that here's kind of this list is kind of like all the different ideas that have been thrown. Out. Obviously, you know, you can't include every idea, but uh, you know, uh, some things that have been discussed that I don't see on it are, are things like uh, right now it's two lanes in each direction, and everything's really tight there. So backing out. It, it gets very difficult. Um, one change that would be very quick and 
low cost and whatnot would be to reduce it to one lane in each direction. And now you've got a lot more space to back cars out. Uh, you've got a lot more space to, um, and, and I wouldn't even have a bike lane, but like it would be more comfortable for bicyclists to use that thoroughfare. So there, there, are, there are ideas that are quite radical, but could be fairly low cost and low impact to implement, but still have a major impact. And so, uh, Robert, if, that, if that's supposed to be a, a, a kind of a, a fairly exhaustive list, I, I'd love to sit down and maybe share a couple of ideas that I feel are missing on it. But um, but the biggest thing, sorry, really long-winded uh, answer to this question, but the big thing is, is um, what the council has said that we want is in that intent statement, and we're trying to leave the actual implementation up to, to TMAC, to Public Works, uh, to the professionals. But hopefully that vision, hopefully we, we all have a very clear idea of what that vision is, what we're trying to achieve. Um, and, and then I would just encourage you to, to not be timid, be, be smart, be methodical, do all those things that Shane talked about. But also, you know, if there's, if there's a, a simple way to make a major impact, because we're far, far from where we need to be on Center Street, so let's 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 see what we can do to actually to really move the needle and 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 early if possible. And, and one thing I wanted to add, and da like Dave said, we're willing to experiment and do things. Um, you know, Dave talked about you know closing down one lane. You know, we can do things that can mimic closing that one lane. And, and see what that looks like through, you know, temporary barrier or those kind of things. So we're on board with, you know, these different ideas and, and we think we had, can have ways that can test these ideas without having to do a major, um, you know, commitment or project to those. But we can do experiments to say, hey, let's try to mimic this and see get the results, see if that is the desired effect before we really commit to, you know, a big funded type project. Um, we're highly supportive of that. Now that we're getting a direction, a direction that we, from the council that we need to head. And again, we'd look to TMAC to kind of say, okay, where do we, with those ideas, where would we first like to start? And I, I think that, that is such a great, I'm really happy to be in this meeting today because it seems like everybody is on the same page and it, the departments, the, the council, TMAC, uh, and that's really exciting because obviously this is really, really important to all of us. Um, kind of going off that, uh, just really quickly, up on your screen right now uh, is the Center Street Policy Intent Statement that Dave was referring to. Um, and as as Gary and I and, and staff internally, and, and as Shane mentioned, you know, as we're thinking about these possible projects and things like that, um, I think one of the things that we could do is kind of create an evaluation criteria of all of these different things and, and actually look at them as individual projects and see how well they accomplish those intentions. And on the right side of your screen, uh, is just a possible evaluation criteria list that I pulled. These are just some things that I, I thought could be used as evaluation criteria based on the intent statement. And I know that many of you have to leave a little early now that we have this new time. And so I was hoping to kind of go through this list and get your feedback so we could actually come up with a, a pretty good matrix of evaluation criteria that we can use as we go through these things. So um, I'm just gonna quickly list some of these off and feel free to jump in or say, Robert, you're completely off base here. It would not offend me at all. <laughs> so just things that I gathered from this uh, place to spend, Center Street should be a place to spend time comfortably. Robert, uh, Robert, yes. could, I, could I pause us for just a second? Absolutely. Sorry. Um, I, I, I love what we're doing. I just want to pause for a second to make sure all the TMAC members are, are on the same page. So we, we need to evaluate these options or ideas to 
kind of determine what might happen next or what might be our priority. And so our goal in these possible evaluation criteria that you're going to list is to decide if these are the right criteria that would help us evaluate these options and ideas. Am I understanding correct? That's my intention. Shane, do you agree with that? Yes. And I could give you an example. So for instance, I think, I, I, I think, I think we're good. That, that makes sense. Joy, Mitsu, Lari, um, does that make sense to you guys? Any thoughts or are we all on the same page? Yeah, I, I could chime in for a minute. I, I really like where Robert is leading us when he, when we listed one of our questions that we're discussing as what are our criteria we will use to evaluate the center street projects. I thought immediately that needs to be linked up with the center street <laughs> intent statement that, and so here it is ready to go. Thank you, Robert. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Um, and in the, the document, we've been looking at the list with the columns and the X's. There are several, I think, key elements of the intent statement that were not included with the column where we could put an X. So I'm glad this is exactly where I think we need to go. But it's also clear we're talking about a couple other things, which are just the calendaring, like Shane was talking about. Are, are we talking in September, October? When are we having these discussions? Also the guiding philosophy, we should discuss that at some point. So I feel like this is one of kind of three three questions that you have posed to us to discuss today. So, um, but I think that's where I'm understanding we're at, Clancy. Cool. Mitsu or Lari, any thoughts or questions? Or are you guys um, No, no, especially I think uh, we are uh, moving to the, into the right direction. And uh, the table is nice because they, they put in a lot of uh, time there. And it's a good list. And if we have a new things, we can add it and stuff. So. Right. And, and I, and I'll just from, say that I concur. Um, I think this is a good direction. And I think for public works is when you define those, I wouldn't necessarily say we need to define those all right now. I would just say maybe we define those if we select, okay, what, let's, let's look at these. For instance, and, and I'll bring up an example, we, we're looking at what we can put down temporary rumble strips we have the ability to go do that as a to, to test to see what that would do. If we did that, that was on that, you know, that item that was on there and we did that, what would be um, the objectives with that? What would be say, okay, that's a successful implementation um, based on these criteria um, and then have kind of that discussion to say with those items, this is where we would say it's successful and if it was, then we would say, okay, let's budget for that and let's do it. Or we'd say that really wasn't that successful. Um, let, let's, let's move on to something else. That's kind of, kind of the direction. And that would help us as public works to kind of continue through that process for us as we implement your ideas or these ideas is to get to that intent statement. Yeah. And I think that, Clancy, if you don't mind if I jump yeah. in really quick. Um, Shane, I think that what you're talking about is a really, really good thing. And um, maybe one of the, the steps to get to that point of testing something is to use a list like this or, or something similar to say, is that the step that we want to take? Does it, does it check off these criteria lists that we want to now go to the step of implementing or planning to implement it and testing it out? So I, I, I totally agree, Robert. Like if we if we go through this exercise and see that raising intersections appears to be extremely effective, we can put out some temporary speed humps and try it out a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I think that's great. That's right. So I, I really I really view this process as a as a good systematic approach to say okay, we first develop a list of stuff that we evaluate each of these possible projects. And then we move to the next step of saying, okay, the, this project checks a majority of these boxes so we can now go test it out. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think that would be really good. So um, you can see the list up there that I've created uh, really comes from uh, that intense statement. My big question for you all uh, is are there other things that you feel like we should add to that list of criteria? 
And how would we refine that list of criteria? So kind of two questions there. Clancy, you can handle that discussion however you want. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of looking through the list myself right now. Um, or, if, or if there are any questions on it, uh, I mean, I can go through it again really quickly. Um, multiple modes of transportation are accommodated, but really something that came out was pedestrians are the priority on Center Street. Mm -hmm. uh, vehicles treated as guests, kind of that, that situation. Mass transit is conveniently near, but not on Center Street. High volume traffic is routed around Center Street. And then we have a valuation of, does it enhance east-west mobility? Um, does it enhance incremental opportunities? Like, is it a first step or is it a, a significant step in, in accomplishing a greater goal? And then are there opportunities to actually use some interim design strategies? Instead of spending a million dollars, is there a way that we can try it out for a while that's kind of low budget, but will give us some good data. Mm -hmm. so, are um, there other things that you guys think should be on there? I've got two, two, two things we could maybe add. Um, knowing that speed is one of the biggest problems we hear about it, as Shane mentioned, um, maybe one of them could be, does it effectively manage speed? You know, will it keep cars at a appropriate speed through center street or help with that? That's great. And then the other one, this one is on the, the table, but not really on here is, does it, does it maintain, I'm thinking about parking, but I don't know that it, it needs to be about parking. Maybe the question is, does, does it maintain or support convenient access to businesses? Um, which parking does that, but it could be other ways also. One thing too, maybe that I could bring up to the TMAC committee is one of the things too is one of the things that can really help with feel and even make it feel as a perception that it's safe, that it feels um, slower, those kind of things are aesthetics. Um, we tend to forget at times of how much aesthetics can play a substantial road in making it feel from a perception that it feels it's nice. I want to be here. Um, those kind of things that really contribute down to that, that downtown being a, a destination that also helps with that, the transportation, you know, these type of elements can have a, a substantial effect effect with that um, because it sets it as a, as a place where I, I know that this is, from that aesthetic value, whatever that is, to say this is a space from aesthetics that is a place for people, right? Not for necessarily as a place for vehicles. So I, I'd ask, as, as you kind of do these things, keep that into consideration because that is a, a big part of that, creating that feel or that sense of space. I think it's important as we make our list of criteria that um, we don't want it to be so big that it becomes unwieldy that we're check, you know, looking at 15 boxes for every item. So I love the ideas um, Shan uh, Clancy suggested and also um, Shane's point about aesthetics. But if we wanted to also trim it down a little bit, um, place to spend time comfortably and experience as a destination are, are pretty similar. Um, we could have place to spend time comfortably be understood as part of enhances experience as a destination. Um, we could also put aesthetics there potentially like that whole idea of center street is the place to be. It's a wonderful place to be. Um, those might be included in that destination idea. Um, I think pedestrian safety needs to be its own line of evaluation. Um, the idea of vehicles are treated as, as guests in a pedestrian environment would be combined into does this particular 
change contribute to it being a pedestrian priority environment? Um, just, just I'm thinking like how to combine bullet points so that there aren't as many and we can actually concentrate on them. So those are a couple ideas. I, I totally agree with all those ideas, Joy. I think it's a great point. I also wonder about, you know, that east-west mobility is very important to me, but, and I, and I think, I wonder though, if that ought to be more of our, a guiding philosophy element with this sense of, we need to consider Center Street as a destination, but also how does it integrate with the rest of Provo's transportation network? Um, I don't know how many projects we're going to have that contribute to east-west mobility if we're routing traffic around and we don't want mass transit there. Uh, clearly it could contribute to pedestrian or bicycle mobility, maybe a little bit to car mobility, but that's not really where we're going. So as important as east-west mobility is to me, I wonder if that doesn't belong more in a guiding philosophy rather than a specific criterion um, for these well, projects. I, I wonder if we we could combine east-west mobility with the one above it, high volume traffic yeah. that's around Center Street in that, you know, ma maintain east-west mobility while reducing traffic on Center Street. Like, so that's- yeah, uh I was just going to comment that those two things seem to sort of be at cross purposes to me um, that, you know, East West mobility um, center streets a more direct route, but we really want it to be a pedestrian location. So that means rooting the traffic around it. And maybe, maybe that means creating alternate corridors or enhancing the alternate corridors so that um, obviously 100 north, but I'm even thinking 500 north and 300 south and 800 north of those are the overall east-west mobility, which then makes quote unquote blocking center street more acceptable. Um, because I really, I would like center street to be, I don't think we want to say this, but I, I would like it to be less comfortable for cars than other places. Mm -hmm. um, and if that's the rumble strips, um, and I'm assuming you mean putting them across the lanes, not just um, along the lines to keep people in lanes. No, we, um, yeah, we would, we would put them, yeah, across the lanes and it's an easy experiment for us. You know? mm -hmm. um, and it seems, I, I like mm -hmm. the idea of having that at the entrance, but you could go past it and then speed up again. And so having things that I was going to ask what physical um, that we can look at. Yeah, I think, I think so. Um, I, I, I don't know about the East West mobility and routing. Cause you make, I see your point, Laurie, that like what we're doing with center, center street inherently in some ways does not enhance east-west mobility. <laughs> um, so is that really a criteria that we judge a center street project on, or is that more of a, you know, it, it's, it's, it's important that it's in the policy statement, but for a center street focused decision, I don't know that that's a valid criteria, whereas it's more of a citywide criteria of we need to make sure these other east-west corridors are well built, well maintained, so that we aren't pushing cars to Center Street. Just to quickly speak. Oh yeah, go ahead, Rob. Go ahead. Just to quickly speak to that, there's, I, there are projects that can that can do both, right? That can take cars off of uh, Center Street, for example, the the interchange, the potential interchange that the UDOT is looking at. But I would agree if we. Uh, so there are things that, that can be done, but if we add those type of, and that's, this is just my perspective, TMAC can, can decide differently, but if we start putting those type of projects on there, um, does it, does it take the fo focus too much of off, off of center street? I guess our, our thought as we put this together was these are the things that we're specifically doing on center street. Um, maybe the only, uh, yeah. caveat to that is some of them are on first hundred North because that's the, that's the uh, arterial around this section of Center Street. So, 
There are and, projects that will accomplish both, but not not Center Street itself. <laughs> and, and that and, was kind of my feeling that if it does that, it's like a bonus point, but definitely not part of an evaluate. I mean, not part of it has to do this or we or we can't implement this project. Well, well let me let me maybe think of it a little differently. Enhancing. So if we put, let's say we decide, ah, let's do something on Center Street that would diminish east-west mobility outside of Center Street, then that wouldn't necessarily be an enhancement. Even though it may improve Center Street, it may make other areas of the city, um, it may diminish the other areas of the city. So at that time, it may be a timing type thing. It may say, well, it, we can enhance mobility by if these other regional projects are in place and they happen at that time, then it may make sense to say, okay, we can do a, a project that may take vehicles, substantially take vehicles off center street. And it would have maybe enhance mobility because we have those other infrastructure in place to, to allow for that East West mobility. So when we think about projects, we think, well, does it or would it hinder based on timing? So as we're looking at the Center Street projects, we're really not looking at Center Street to enhance east-west mobility, but we do need to consider east-west mobility as we look at those projects. Yeah. So I'd, I would not say enhances. I would say considers east-west mobility. Well, and, and maybe it's not even a scoring criteria. It's just something we need to be aware of once we pick a strategy, we need to say, okay, how will this strategy impact East-West mobility? Do we need, like Shane kind of said, do we need to do something else first or in conjunction with this? Right. So, so probably not something that we would put in a, in a list of evaluation criteria, but that's that's kind of an overall operating principle right. that we all yeah. using. Right. That's exactly it, Robert, yeah. Or we could- And I like- I was just going to say, I like Joy's suggestions of combining the destination and spending time comfortably and the aesthetics as a single criteria, maybe with just the notations at the side, but reducing the size of the list. And go ahead, Joy. <laughs> I know that's fine, Larry. Um, we could potentially add the east-west mobility in with, um, does it help route traffic around Center Street? Um or we can have it be a question mark after whatever we decide to consider, you know, and how does it affect East West mobility? But I really feel like for Center Street to succeed in the intent that the council has expressed, it has to be done in conjunction with um, considering that East West mobility and giving other options. I think if you just start shutting down Center Street, you're going to have thousands of frustrated Provo um, citizens and from elsewhere, uh, drivers that need, that have legitimate needs to get through town at various times of the day. And we have to accommodate their perspective as well and saying, well, we we're giving you other options. So I, I do think that's a, it's a twofold discussion. What do we want to do with Center Street and how do we help East West mobility elsewhere? Um, so I, I don't, I guess I don't know how to, if we include that with, are we routing traffic around is does it help with that um and which would allow us to include those 100 north projects for example on the list of things that do in fact help center street um or do we have that as a separate consideration um i'm not quite sure but i do think it's very important yeah I, i'm not i'm not totally certain either um are you taking, is, some, is someone taking notes? I've lost track of what we suggest we combine. <laughs> My pen has been on fire, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I can tell you one of the first ones, maybe just as we go through this process, it may help us. Um, one of the things we that, that I've done is the, there's been a, a, a substantial request to change signal timing um, right now. Um, public works, and, and that's from various... Um, committees. I think TMAC, we've, we've had some discussions. I have set up, um, we are doing a kickoff meeting with the UDOT to retime 
um, all the signals um, specifically in the downtown area. Um, we've kind of told everybody in the past we're, we're holding off on that until fifth West is done. It is done to the, to the point that we're saying let's retime. And so between the state and the city, we're going to be doing substantial retiming uh, of the area. It's going to be a substantial effort on the, with the state on doing that. And as we go through this process um, with the state to retime that, we'll be coming to you to say, what would, as we do that, what would you like to see with some of these retiming efforts? This is, as you see your list, keep that in consideration as we do that. Here's those things that uh, and maybe make you think of things that you want to think about as, as we should evaluate when we do that. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And just as a sidebar to that, whenever that is done, like we should consider the city doing some sort of social media post or the mayor doing a blog about it just to inform people like, Hey, we've done this hundred North is going to, might be better now, you know, whatever the outcome of that is some sort of, public information effort to let people know. Absolutely. Um, I want to throw one more thought in here. The, the one kind of in the middle mass transit is, is conveniently near, but not on center street. Mm -hmm. um, that's another one that I feel like is an important guiding principle. It won't actually affect any of the projects we discuss. Um, that's a guiding principle that we use in you know, there's the new BRT discussion and other things, but I don't know that it will directly impact any of these center street specific projects. So we can maybe just get rid of that one as long as we keep it in mind as a guiding principle. Any thoughts on that? I agree. Um, thanks, Laurie's got to head out. Thanks for enjoying Laurie. Um, do we have, do we want to, do we have others that need to leave soon here? Or you mentioned people have to take off early, Robert. What's, um, well, maybe, maybe before anybody else has to take off and, and, and things like that, I would make the suggestion, let me go back through this list, um, and kind of do the combining, um, and then let's pass that back and forth through email and so we can have that agreed on and then maybe at the if that if that's a recommendation that you guys can offer to me then maybe at the next meeting you can just vote and say this is the evaluation that we're going to start with we can edit it at any time um but kind of move forward that way is that is that okay with you all yeah that sounds great to me Okay. Um, one thing to consider too is, is for this upcoming budget cycle, um, I'd like to start doing this process and we are looking to maybe start budgeting some things for center street, um, to start this process. So I'd like to make sure as, as if we can do that so that we kind of have some ideas that you guys would like us to look at, we can budget for and start moving forward with maybe that first year ideas or, or those kind of things. Yeah, I, I, Shane, I was going to bring that up to you. Just, a, just a, as, as a reminder, I think we talked about it last time, but the four check marks that, that uh, we had discussed and put down as public works, those are ones that are kind of straightforward um, that, that, we, that we can you know, receive feedback on. But those are the ones that we felt like um, you do on a street Anyways, I mean, the, I just going through them real quick, switching out the parking signs and posts. That's something that was decided a couple of years ago for the new downtown plan. We just, now we've got all the posts in to be able to do it. We just wanted to make people aware that we're, we're ready to, to pull the trigger on that. Installing the pedestrian crossing signs. I think um, Center Street hasn't had them because the thought was the whole thing is a pedestrian mall. But really, if we're, if the concern is when people come up to a walk, they're, cars aren't paying attention, 
putting the pedestrian signs is something that we would typically do anyways. Um, replacing the speed limit sign, uh, again, is just something we just need to put back up. Um, and then um, adjusting the signal timing is something we'd already started with DDOT. So as we talk about this overall plan of, of putting together this kind of matrix and a, and a path forward by, by October, just speaking to what Shane was just saying, these four check marks was not intended as a, these are the only four that we're going to do until October. TMAC can definitely look at the other ones on the, especially on the first part of this list and say, yeah, do that also, or, or do a temporary, like the, the temporary rumble strips that we've looked in and, and are, are ready to purchase. Um, so there's, there's kind of those two things that the, the four check marks were, were it, like I said, again, is not intended as this is all we're going to do before October. You guys can definitely give us direction to do more before then. Um, Rob, just a quick sidebar on those temporary rumble strips. I know UDOT's done a ton of research on those. Have you talked with them or seen what they've used for that? Uh, I haven't talked with anybody at, at UDOT. We've, we've looked into the different kinds ourselves. Um, Shane, have you okay. talked to anybody with UDOT on? I, I'm, I'm familiar with, let's see yeah. how this works for Provo city. Maybe we do this and it, 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 it works great, but we've research says it doesn't other times, maybe this, this research shows it's been effective, but um, and it's not, I, I think for us, I think we want to try, we, we really do want to be able to try, um, various things to, and when we're willing to do those to try to get there. Um, and so just as, as David said before, look, look, look at those and, and we will, we will do them, um, as far as, is what we can and, and budget that in and experiment that out my perspective, I'm willing to do that. We're, this is rumble strip is one of them. Yeah. We kind of have the background on that, but honestly, we would, we would definitely let's try it ourselves and see what happens. So Rob and Shane for your budgeting projection timeframe is if we start our next meeting with, here's our criteria that we discussed over email, we're ready to start discussing the list and the projects. Is that soon enough for you? Or that's, are you saying it's not soon enough? Oh, oh, Shane, we can't hear you. <laughs> you just turned off here. From my perspective, I say, look, I, all those on there, and like I said, we're from a budgeting perspective, I, we've kind of got a number, I think, um, that we're thinking, well, an idea right now. Um, I think the sooner that we can, because we're going to be starting the budgeting process with the council, um, so the sooner that we can get, you know, an idea of what that budgeting option, you know, or what you're thinking, um, the more that we can quickly get it in that process and then have that discussion with the council um, on what we're thinking for Center Street. Yeah. So we've got a placeholder in there now, especially if uh, I, th I think the biggest thing is if it's going to be a substantial amount of money. Yeah, we, we that's where it's the, the sooner the, the sooner that we know, the better, because um, we've got to get that in. Um, one thing I want to say regarding this, the schedule or, or cadence of these strategies. Um, I like the idea of sort of an annual process of reviewing, you know, what can we do next? But I, I also hope that through this evaluation process that we could kind of have a, a more a clear idea of what the, the major changes will be. Um, because we can't, I mean, you guys know, we can't decide in October, oh yeah, let's remove a lane next year. Um, we've got to have a, a broad perspective on what the major changes to Center Street will be. And then we can build in between and fill in the gaps between those major changes. But I, I do feel like it'd be important through this evaluation process to identify those big ticket items that we want to do in the future, whether they're a year or five years from now. And we might even be able to make a list kind of like we did with the master transportation where it's like tier one, tier two, tier three, like going through what we are sort of sketching out mm -hmm. out in the future. Here's the first things you want to do. Kent. Here's third. I don't know if, we, I don't know at the rate we discuss things, who knows how far we'll get, but, um, <laughs> but we could potentially um, get a list like that going. Um, yeah. I, I was going to suggest, I like Shane's idea of bringing in the stakeholders but I don't think we should start in September if October is our deadline. Um, things just move slowly enough that we should probably start a little before that. But but that's that's maybe more for you, Clancy, in setting our agenda. So. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. I agree. 
and, and for my public works, like I said, we we are always getting comments from various, you know, the groups, stakeholders, um, the public on things for for Center Street. If we can let them know, hey, we have a process involved for Center Street. We're going to take your comments. We're going to take those things. We're going to provide those to, you know, TMAC, you know, through this committee that starts to evaluate doing to help with those things. And we can, you know, commun you know combine all those into to one and say, here, this is what we've kind of gotten over the last, you know, whatever, six months to, to, to consider. Um, from the public, from the groups, or, or those kind of things, and, and have that all communi commun you know, brought together um, <laughs> that we can present to you guys. Yeah, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Okay. Um, this has been a great discussion. So, Robert, you're going to organize the list and email it, and we'll maybe email a little bit to see if we can come to a final set of criteria that we would vote on next meeting, and then we can proceed in that meeting or after that to start kind of ranking these and evaluating these then, is that yeah. correct? And, and I think that's a great plan to move forward with. Maybe Shane and Rob, if there are specific things that you are thinking that would be, um, that you really want to have as part of your upcoming budget, um, if in the interim, if you could email out and let us know specifically what we should be, those things that you're thinking about, that you've looked at the list and thought, this is something that we could really do. Um, just let the TMAC members know so we can kind of start there. Um, Absolutely. I think that's something we can do that we will get together and say, hey, look, we'd like to start going or at least evaluating or doing these, these, these ideas. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I was just going to add one more thing as far as an evaluation list. One thing that I, I would encourage you to consider um, is maybe a, a criteria that just says what we're doing now isn't detracting from a larger project that we want to do later on. Um, you know, sometimes, sometimes we go for a low hanging fruit, but that might not be where we want to end up. And yeah. so I think that might be something that I throw in there just for you all to consider and think about as well. Um, but I just wanted to, it, Shane touched on this earlier and I just want, kind of wanted to conclude with this, that kind of where we're going. Uh, the whole point of this is that um we want to come up with this implementation strategy for uh, for Center Street, where we where we evaluate these things and then we plan them out. We put them into practice uh, and evaluate how they go, and then if we need to make revisions, uh, and then we 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 kind of move on to the next thing. And uh, that's that's just what I kind of see as as where we're going with Center Street with all of this evaluation that we're doing we've identified so many projects and um, this is kind of the goal to to get some of these things implemented and um, but as far as I have for homework for you folks uh, if you could please just look over that list again uh, become a little bit more familiar with it uh, to understand what's on it and then to consider are there additional X's that should be in those columns, either for aesthetics uh, or uh, council priorities, things like that, uh, the things that we've talked about today. Um, and then just come next time ready to, to dive in. Clancy, how does that sound? Joy? Yeah, sounds great to me. Robert, will you redo the columns based on the criteria that we decide on? Or do you feel really good about what those columns are already? I mean, it feels like if we're, at what point are we about using the criteria that we're going to all this effort to come up with? Is that going to be the new columns with X's? I think that we're gonna come up with a priority list, right? That, that we're gonna use these columns to, to help us understand, um, let me go back. These columns are helping us understand maybe some of the outcomes of what these projects will accomplish. And then we're gonna use these evaluation criteria 
uh, to determine a priority list is kind of how I envision that. Is that similar to what everybody else sees? I, I, I see what both of you are saying. I, I guess I was thinking that these, the current columns would eventually go away, but I see what you're saying, Robert, that maybe they will help us in evaluating a little bit. But long-term, I, I, I was kind of thinking what Joy said, that long-term, the evaluation criteria kind of uh, replaces what we currently have. And that makes they're, sense. They're very similar. Right. Um, but they're not quite the same. Yeah. So maybe this is a good way to look at it right now. And then as we stick the evaluation criteria in, that becomes kind of the guiding one. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking at least. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, so when we're done, the evaluation is, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. But that's all, that's all I have for you all. And I, any other discussion or, or anything else you want to talk about? Just hooray for Fifth West. <laughs> yes. Well, at least nice. all the lanes are open. The, the, the aesthetic value will be done being moved yeah. forward in the spring. So. I, just, I just enjoy using Fifth West again. I, I haven't for two years and I missed it. <laughs> we forget, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, I, Joy or, or Dr. Saito, anything else we need to bring up or should we go ahead and adjourn for today? No, uh, I'll wait for the email and then think it over all this. Uh, I, I think I saw yeah. uh, one final thought. I think I saw in the news this week, um, and maybe Dave Harding can confirm this, that are there now plans to build a big sports complex on the west side of Provo? I can confirm that, yes. Um, it's not new news, um, but but yeah, we, we, we're, we're incrementally moving along, but yeah, that, that is definitely in the plans and that, that will happen. Okay, that just um, reinforces the importance of east-west mobility if we're going to be having carpools of soccer moms driving kids over across town. Just one more thought, yay, east-west mobility. And I'm done, Clancy, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, but where are you planning to place it? I mean, so it, it, it is directly east of the uh -huh. airport. I mean, almost, you could almost throw a rock from the, the airport and hit the, oh, the, the okay, okay. Park, just across the parkway. So there is some east-west mobility built into, you know, having having it on the parkway. But, but yes, um, you know, you have to get people to the parkway, which if you're in... in parts of East Provo, it's hard to, to even get to that point. Yeah, so, right, right. Yeah, that's can what can I, I make a suggestion? Maybe Robert is maybe mm -hmm. put that as a, as a TMAC agenda item that maybe we could have the parks department come in and present um, their plan and maybe then have a discussion about um, maybe some of the mobility and those things that, that they should consider or we should consider. Um, that are going to be created because of this it's it's going to be a to say the least it's going to be a very large regional um, soccer park that is the intent um, so mm. um, I think it'd be a good for them to come in and, and present that to you and and get your guys's thoughts yeah plus if there's any um, estimated you know the traffic changes in the traffic flow um, they're going to be large to say the least uh, it's yeah and, and and we're planning towards that and i think that's some of the things that we that they and that you know maybe some of the their traffic study and some of the things we have planned out there from a mobility standpoint that we could present to you um and and kind of give you that update and then any ideas or thoughts that you had because the only sort of the, the route to, to get there uh it, Either Center Street or you go to the go through the neighborhood sort of, and the you know that, that new road I forgot the name, Lake uh, Lakeview Parkway. Yeah, Lakeview yeah. Parkway. Those are the only two, and then the those who live uh, west side, south side might use the new route, but the other people will most likely use Center Street. Yep. 
Yeah. And, and and I think there's a regional kind of we have a ne- a traffic network that we kind of have established um, mm-hmm. to help with those things. And as new development is coming online, um, and and needing to build and accommodate the necessary mobility to for these things, um, they are being planned. And I think it would just be a good to to kind of keep you guys to show you what is going on and what in the yeah. plan. So that would be very interesting. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. I think this was a really good discussion and productive meeting. So I appreciate that. Um, And let's all check those emails and share some thoughts and we'll continue next month. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Okay.